I was born in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Very early on, my father gave me a, a disc recording machine and 10 minutes with that machine and I knew what I wanted to do for the rest of my life. He did a lot of old, very famous big band albums, Ella Fitzgerald, people like that, Sarah Bond. He did a lot of these really great sounding recordings. Billy Holiday, Dinah Washington, Count Basie, Frank Sinatra, you name it. Every time that was something I really liked that I heard, I'd check it out and have Bruce's name on it. Mixed by Bruce Woodin using the Accusonic process, you know. I thought, well, that's pretty cool. Wish I knew what that was. I remember the first time that I was sitting in a room with just Michael and Bruce, and I, I was sort of like shocked that I'm in the same room with these guys. My uncle trusted Bruce with everything. I mean, that's the sonics, you know, the, the sound of the album. Mike realized that I'm only gonna sound as good as Bruce is going to record me. I mean, you could tell Bruce loved nothing more than, than doing vocals with Michael. Leaving in all the noises, things that other engineers would try to suppress and leave out. Bruce wanted it to be so loud and have such big impact at the first playback, the needle wouldn't stay on the record. We were listening, and I remember Michael sitting behind me, and I'm saying to myself, we missed. Things came to a big loggerhead, and there was a, a, a uh, there, was, there was a big train wreck. Bruce, help me. these moments and with any artist with songwriters whatever there are I mean you kind of almost have to wait for something to happen because it's actually bigger than you we are here to save the recorded music industry don't forget that.